Hi, Rachin. I just wanted to ask that you had defied India in the first Test match. So, how much confidence would you take from that as you are batting? And I just wanted to know that how important is it to not uh, get into your shell and just block balls and also look to attack when the opportunity presents itself. Yeah, I'll start that sort of second part of that question. Yeah, I think it's important, personally for me, and I think with a lot of batters, to uh, make sure we keep our intent high. Not just necessarily scoring runs, but as long as we're being positive, we're getting to those good positions and um, hopefully you get into a good position where a good ball beats you outside edge or uh, you smother it quite nicely. So I think if I'm being positive and um, my head's going into the ball, then hopefully more than not, I'm getting to those good positions. Um, that first part of the question, yeah, well, like I, I wouldn't say it was just me who, saw, who defied India. I think it was in a collective team effort, but yeah, it was pretty cool to be out there towards the end. But um, yeah, you take a bit of confidence there, but understanding that there's still a very, very long way to go in this test match. And there's two days of uh, a lot of cricket to go. There's 180 overs. So the point we don't get hit of ourselves or anything like that, we're just going to take it ball by ball. And if we do pull off something amazing, it'd be um, fantastic. Uh, Rajin, uh, it is safe to say that New Zealand's backs are against the wall, but how do you see Ajaz Patel's performance in this test match? 15 wickets, the best figures for any opponent bowler against India. How do you see his performance, in especially coming at his home ground? Technically, it is his home ground in Wankade. Of course, honestly, I couldn't be um, happier for Jazzy. He's an incredible bloke, an incredible off-spinner, and I think it just uh, he embodies that Kiwi fight and spirit incredibly well. And to take 14 wickets and 10 wickets of the innings is still ludicrous. I'm still trying to process that. <laughs> um, him just kind of being on a team is, is incredible. He's a guy you can just throw the ball to and just, you know, he's going to give it his all. And I think having having him in the team also helps me a lot and helps a lot of uh, spinners a lot as well because he knows a lot about the game. And to see him pick up 14 wickets, again, it's, um, it's crazy. And it's really a reward for all his hard work throughout the years. Thanks, Sachin. Best of luck for the game. Thank you. Now, Rachin, I'll ask you a couple as well. Um, I suppose just seeing your summation of the day, uh, yeah, when, when, when needs to happen again just tomorrow. Yeah, I think uh, we've obviously lost a few wickets here, but I think it's important that we just, like I said before, taking it ball by ball and seeing where it takes us. Obviously, it's a very, very long road ahead, but... If um, hopefully we can build some partnerships with the next guys ahead and see if we can stem the flow of wickets. But I think uh, like Dazzler and uh, Tully sort of showed us that there's definitely a wicket you can apply yourself and bet some time. So we'll just go off the game plans and see what we can do. Well, I'll pass it back across to Anish. Um, um, you know, your first test wicket and look at it as well, getting out the right probably must be a pretty special moment. Yeah, it's always, always nice to get that first one, but now nah, it's uh, it was nice to get like a spell of overs from Tommy and the pitch was definitely turning a bit, but uh, yeah, it was just nice to get a few overs under my belt and had the confidence to toss a few up, but no, nah, it was, it was good fun. Rachin, uh, would you adopt a defensive approach tomorrow morning or play naturally since sticking the scoreboard will, scoreboard will also be important to ease off some pressure? Yeah, I think I think it, it, whatever your natural game is, I think it's important that we do keep out the good balls and we uh, score off the balls that we can. But I don't think it's necessarily going to be a, a massive sort of change in mindset, anything differently that we have been doing for the last, for last test or this test in, uh, in particular. But I think if we just back our game plans and back our positions and commit to each ball 100%, then Hopefully, we'll um, be okay. So, Rashan, do you want to How does it, uh, what was that chat in that huddle when you broke the monopoly of Ajaz Patel as the wicket taker for New Zealand? and? How much of what you did with the ball uh, did you kind of carry when you went out to bat? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a pretty funny moment because it was kind of like, well, Jazzy might take all 20 here. <laughs> but no, nah, it was, I guess it was just the lads sort of congratulating me for um, taking my first wicket. And it was pretty special, the guys coming up to me and um, really yeah, making me feel, I guess, part of it and made that first wicket feel really special. But, um, but now, nah, uh, sorry, what was that second part of the question? How much of what you did with the ball did you carry when you walked out to bat? Oh, yeah. Uh, 
I don't think I, I carry too much of it. I think I carried an understanding of the surface and what it was doing from when I was bowling um, to, I guess, adopting a game plan. But I think it's important in this game to uh, learn from what you've done and uh, move on to the next thing, not necessarily, I guess, dwelling on what's happened, but um, understanding you can take those learnings, which, which I, I feel like I went all right. But it's still, like I said before, a long way to go. Thanks, Tia. Hi, Rachid. After you guys were rolled out for 62, what was the discussion in the dressing room and how did your approach to playing spin change in the second innings? I think it's, it's, always, it's always tough being bowled out for 60. I think there's a lot of things that um, possibly went wrong. But I think at the end of the day, like a lot of gun change rooms, or everyone's, everyone's a fighter and we all strive to be better. And I think we, we try to put that sort of stuff behind us, understand, look, it was. Uh, not not our best performance, but move on that we've got another second innings and um, hopefully we can just keep fighting from there. And I think they're a little bit of an, an whether it's an intent change or our plans were a little bit clearer, but uh, I think they just played out, played the natural game um, in the couple of scenes we had batting, but uh, yeah, we just try, try to do the same things over and over. So just last thing for me, Rachel, um, yeah, you were a little bit unwell in those first couple of days. Uh, I suppose, how was that for you and how much better are you feeling now? Yeah, it was a really tough couple of days, I guess. Uh, it, was, it was a bit of a struggle in, um, in terms of my sickness, but now nah, I'm feeling better now and um, I'm glad to be on, on the way up. So, yeah, hopefully I'll be sweet, wake up sweet tomorrow. Cool. All right, thanks for making time. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Yeah, the hotel with bowling coach Shane Jurgensen. Yeah, Shane, just how special was that temper from ages today? Oh, so special. Um, an amazing performance, all 10 wickets. Third time in history, um, if you think of 144 years and counting of Test cricket, and only three people have done it. The first uh, New Zealander, and to do it in the city of his birth is absolutely amazing. Couldn't write a better script for him, and you know it's a credit to his hard work over a long period of time. It's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, to get these Indians out in their own conditions, they're very good players of spin. I mean, how how big a effort is that? Oh, you, when you come to India, it's the biggest challenge in cricket. Um, it's right up there. And they play very, spin very well. And he's coming to a, a, a place and an environment, conditions that, um, although he was born here, he's spent the majority of his cricketing life in New Zealand. So just fantastic to be able to have the control that he had, the pressure that he applied. And, and then all of a sudden, the wickets started to fall. And you know, um, again, 10 wickets, absolutely amazing effort. AJ is a guy you've worked with. Since, well, tell us how long you've worked with him, and I suppose how proud a moment it is for you as a coach, the guy you've worked with. <clears throat> yeah, AJ is. Uh, oh, look, there's been plenty of people work with him, but I think for me personally, and, and our working relationship has been probably three to four years now, and started winter training, uh, winter training squad way back in 2017, 2018, and look, he's worked his way through those high performance programs, uh, playing fantastic cricket for central districts. I mean, it's all down to him, always willing to learn um, and is a real a qual a high quality bowler. And, you know, he's done some fantastic performances now for us in these conditions here now, Sri Lanka, um, Abu Dhabi when we, over Pakistan and Dubai. So, you know, he's really has put his name up in, you know, up in the history of, of New Zealand cricketers. It was obviously a, a tough day from there on with, for the batsmen, but we just had a moment in the changing room afterwards. Can you give us an idea? when uh, a few words were spoken about AJS's achievement? Yeah, I mean, yeah, tough day. Um, India bowled really well, and for us, we've, we've just got to try and, you know, put our best foot forward over the next remaining few days in the test match and, and give it everything we've got. Um, but, yeah, fantastic moment for us in the change rooms. Uh, you know, coming together as a group, and that's what we do. We, we acknowledge special performances, and, yeah, it was uh, a real special moment. Uh, a really long clap for him uh, for it that went for about two minutes um, and it's well deserved a phenomenal effort and fantastic the opposition acknowledges as well and the opposition captain came to say well done as well so you know hats off to them but you know really special for us in the change room to be able to share this special performance with AJS. And lastly AJS it slipped to us that uh, <coughs> you might have seen him a bit of a hype reel before the test could he uh, <laughs> give us the thinking behind that setting him some highlights of all his wickets? Yeah, well, international cricket, it's, it's tough for the guys mentally, physically. And, um, you know, it's one of those things uh, that 
I've sort of been doing for a little while now and I try and you know give the guys some really good positive feedback on their bowling um, and just a, a friendly reminder of all the you know the great stuff he's done in international cricket and um, you know it's really nice that uh, little things like that may have helped contribute his performance but you know it's all down to him fantastic effort